Today we want to take it back to the basics and show you the four best ways to mount your air ride compressor, compare the pros and cons of each. First we'll talk about a couple of methods we can use to install the compressors right out of the box without spending any additional money. And then we'll follow that with what you can do with the Airlift or the Air Max brand isolator kits that we sell and how those can change your installation. Jumping right in, the most common way to mount your air ride compressor into the trunk of your vehicle is gonna be right to the sheet metal. While this works really well and is really secure, the downside is it allows for a lot of mechanical noise from the compressor to transmit directly into the unibody of the car, which actually makes it even louder. Personally, I really like this approach because it leaves the entire trunk open for your groceries, luggage, or whatever you wanna do with it. Your air ride is nice and tucked out of the way. If this isn't your first rodeo, you may have noticed we use rivet nuts during this installation rather than just bolting straight through the sheet metal and having a nut at the bottom. Having a captive nut makes it so much easier if you ever want to pull that compressor out down the line to upgrade or otherwise. Another super popular approach is going to be to mount your compressor to a piece of MDF, which is what we call the false floor. The way we typically go about that is you take the factory trunk carpet from the car out, you trace it onto a piece of MDF, and then you would adhere carpeting to it to match your existing trunk. Mounting your Vire compressor to your false floor is extremely simple. There's a couple ways you could go about it. I like to use the template that we showed earlier when we were mounting directly into the sheet metal of the trunk of our Lexus. The other way without the template would be to just use the feet of the compressor as the template. The hardware included with all these vires is gonna be M5 size. If you just get a drill bit slightly bigger than that and drill through those four spots, and then you can go ahead and bolt it together. Now your false floor setup can be dropped into your trunk, replacing the original factory floor carpet. Now let's talk about the options that cost a little bit extra, but can be really worth it in terms of noise isolation and stopping those vibrations from transmitting into your car. Mounting the compressor to the false floor can definitely help reduce some of the mechanical noise that gets amplified by your car's unibody, but there's still a better way. Using isolators available on bagriders.com is an easy way where you simply remove the feet off the compressor, install the isolators, and then bolt that into your vehicle. In the case of our nice rivet nuts that we did on the Lexus LS430, the mounting locations for these aftermarket isolators are the exact same as the original Vire foot pattern. So you're not gonna have to make any additional holes. You simply unbolt your old compressor, put the isolators on and bolt it back together. Easy peasy. As you can tell, the isolators make a really big difference and the noise from the compressor is even less noticeable with the trunk closed. You be the judge of which of these setups makes the most sense to meet the goals of your air suspension build. We're just here to supply the parts and help you make an informed air ride decision. If you'd like a more scientific video reviewing the noise levels these different compressors make, we have a link to that in the description. If you thought I got too in-depth or not in-depth enough about how to mount your compressor, please drop us a comment below and we will definitely read and respond to each and every one of you. Peace out.